In this video, I want to talk about the doubts that we can have when we are following a certain path. And I know it can be quite often for INFPs uh, who tend to function with you know, motivation at the beginning of projects, but as soon as the motivation starts to fade away, we, we feel the need to find another project or we question everything. And I know it's the case for a lot of people because uh, nowadays it seems that we need to find our passion, we need to find uh, a work that aligns with our interests. And there is this common idea that if you find the, ri the right job, uh, you will never work a day in your life. We have that expectation that the right career, the right job is waiting for us somewhere uh, outside in the world and that can cause some problems. In this video, I want to share a new mindset that I've discovered and some ideas that can help you face this situation and navigate them and also allow us to find work that we enjoy because in the end, I guess it's, it's what we all want to do. So the question about the right path is something that I've been asking myself a lot because when I was still working in a corporate job uh, and when I quit my job and went traveling after, I didn't want to fall back into the same trap. So I was asking myself, uh, is it the right path? I don't want to make the same mistake. But sometimes I spend more time trying to figure out my, my path. Uh, is it the right one? Uh, am I following my passion and stuff like that? And I spend more time doing this than actually dedicating myself to, to this new path that I've chosen to my passion, if we have to call it this way. And I have discovered the, the book from Cal Newport, which is called uh, So Good That It Can't Ignore You. And I've been reading it, um, thinking and researching, reading a lot of things. And I just want to share with you what I've learned and uh, share, share with you this new mindset, because for me, it's a major insight. And I hope it will be helpful when you have to, to deal with this kind of uh, questions about, uh, am I following the right path? The main problem that I've been facing uh, in this quest of following your passion or, or finding your right path is that every time I thought um, like this is the one I, I wanted to do uh, this thing, like for example, the, the YouTube channel, I was very uh, excited, enthusiastic about it. And like maybe one or two months later, when it, when it becomes hard or when the motivation starts to fade away, um, I question myself about everything. And when we start to feel these things, usually we want to make a shift. Uh, we start to think, uh, after all, maybe it wasn't the right path. I need to find the right one. Maybe I, I need to explore something else. And we end up feeling lost. And I got tired of feeling lost and feeling disillusioned. And I started to, to think like, maybe this, this find your passion is, is maybe just a, a myth or it's just not worth pursuing. So that's why I started to, to search for ways to simply enjoy the work that you do, because I guess that's all that we want. And in the end, I stumbled across the, the book from Cal Newport. So the main shift that comes with this new mindset that Cal Newport talks about is that it's come the, it comes the other way around. Like instead of first figuring out your passion and then aligning your work with this, you just have to find a field that interests you and then practice and build skill in that field. And only after passion can come, a mission can come. Because if you think about um, a state of flow, it's a balance between skills and challenge. If your skills are too important, you will be bored. But if the challenge is too important, you will be anxious. So this, this is the, the main idea of the book. It's that, uh, of course, for, for some people who know that they want to do with their life, there is absolutely no problem in following your passion. But I'm talking here about people who've tried this and it's a dead end. They have tried several things and it's the same thing over and over. They still end up uh, doubting themselves and end up feeling lost. So it's an interesting idea. We have to build valuable skills first. And just knowing that things will get hard, it's really un unrealistic to expect that because you, you work for something that is that you are passionate about, you will never have to work. Everything that you want to master demands work. So the main insight I got from this is that instead of following something and the minute it starts to become hard, you, you think about doing something else. You just know that 
it's not a sign of you're not meant to do this uh, because you're not meant to have a perfect job waiting for you where you will always be happy. No, it's just you have to become good at something and then you will be able to find a passion in it. Because when I reflected upon this, most of the time where I was um, like in flow or happy to do what I was doing is when I was really trying my best to do something and was when I was really like in this balance of challenge and skill. Another main insight from this uh, following your passion mindset is that when you try to follow your passion, you're really trying to think about what the world or what your work can bring to you. And it's very self-centered. But if you change your mindset, if you try to build skill, if you try to get better, to build rare and valuable skills, now you're thinking about what can I offer to the world? And by thinking like that, it will free yourself from all the distraction like, oh my God, it's becoming hard. Should I change my path? Or maybe I'm not meant to do this, or maybe I'm not good enough. If you know that will be hard, it will require work, you will stick to it. But then it got me thinking, how do we choose something? How do we choose a career then? Because why not choose something like the first job we can, we can take and make it uh, our career. The answer I found to that is that we should start by choosing something that interests us and something that comes from within, like an intrinsic motivation. For example, do not choose something because you will have a good salary or because society thinks it's good. You must first choose something that you're interested in and just remember that when it will become hard, because it will, just, just know that it's part of, of the process. So instead of thinking about what is my passion, what I am talented at or what I am good at, think about what am I willing to get good at because it will take time to build skills. So the idea here is to build a valuable set of skills first and then trade it for um, a more desirable lifestyle like more control over your life because when you get good, when you have something to trade, you can actually ask for something, for more control, for more convenient uh, working hours. Um, maybe you can start your own business, but first you need to, to build something. When I'm talking about first building skills and then trading it, uh, I'm talking about what Carl Newport talks about in his book. And he says that what makes a great work, a great job, is the creativity, the control and the impact that you can have. And he says that you, you cannot have all the three of them by simply uh, deciding to, to have them. You have to trade something for it. So you have to become good first. We have to be willing to become good to overcome these obstacles and then create more control, more impact in our life instead of just quitting when we feel like actually it's not the right path and starting over. I'm not saying that we should stick with the job no matter what, just to get good and to endure all the, the bad conditions. No, um, you should avoid a job if first um, there is no way that you can evolve, that you can progress or build skill that can allow you to stand out. Uh, second, if you're working in a way that does not align with your values at all, that you, you think is useless or even bad for the world. And third, uh, if you really dislike the people you're working with. Otherwise, so the, the main idea of the video is really um, know when it's time to, to quit or when it's time to, to push through and to stick to that path. And what I found is that there is no such such thing as uh, the right job waiting for us outside. Um, it will always be painful or require some hard work at some point. And the only reason um, that you should quit a job is that if, yeah, basically the three points that I've just mentioned, choose a path um, knowing why you're doing it. Uh, it has to interest you. It has to, to fit your values. And just remember that we have to be willing to, to put the work. I, I, I believe that this whole idea about you don't have to even work a day in your life if you find your passion can be dangerous because it can mislead people and we can end up being lost. So that's it guys. I've tried to make a quick sum up of the book and um, 
with a mix of what I've learned and what I think about it as well. I hope it's, um, it's helpful to you because um, doing this past week and thinking about it has really given me a lot of insights. So if you did, let me know in the comments what you, what you liked, what you've learned. Uh, I'm really interested in knowing that. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.